All right, day three of mountain building. We're on page 138, California Mountains. Using our red pen, capital C-A-L-I-F-O-R-N-I-A, -I Mountains, capital M-T-N-S, period. We're gonna use the abbreviation. Switching back to the pencil. Most of California is on the North American plate. Some of Western California is on the Pacific plate. The movements of these plates have helped shape the mountains of California. So most of California is the North American plate, but there's a section right along over here, along the coast near San Francisco, all the way down to Los Angeles, and even down towards San Diego that's on the Pacific plate. And those two plates are coming together or sliding past each other, the San Andreas Fault. The Sierra Nevada chain is a huge range of fault block mountains. Okay, so Sierra, capital S-I-E-R-R-A, Nevada, capital N-E-V-A-D-A, -E equals fault, F-A-U-L-T, dash block, B-L-O-C-K. The mountains are a block of granite tilted westward from a fault that runs along their eastern edge. Tilted westward. Okay, so I think that what that means is normally they'd be flat, but they're tilted westward. Other mountain ranges in California are the result of squeezing forces that crumple and fold Earth's crust. Fold mountains have formed as a result. Okay. So, also, A-L-S-O, some, S-O-M-E, fold, F-O-L-D, Mountains, M T N S period. So the Sierra Nevada is mostly fault block mountains, but there are also some fold mountains. About 30 million years ago, the interaction between the Pacific and North American plates pushed up the coast ranges. These include the King and Santa Cruz Mountains. Okay, so what they're talking about is these mountains and hills here, and these mountains and hills here. Those are the ones that we have to drive over to get to the beach, or drive across to get down to Los Angeles. As the plates slipped past each other, the ocean floor folded and crumpled to form the mountains. Mount Shasta and Lassen Peak are volcanic mountains that are part of the Cascades. The Cascade Range is a chain of volcanoes formed where several smaller tectonic plates are subducted beneath the North American plate. Okay, so this big giant North American plate is moving and the other plate is getting subducted underneath. Mount Shasta and Lassen Peak are volcanoes in a volcanic range at the north end of California. So, capital M-T period, Shasta, capital S-H-A-S-T-A. -A. Then right below that, Lassen, capital L-A-S-S-E-N. Peak, capital P-E-A-K. Make a little bracket, so you go out and out back in and back in. Those are uh, not volcanoes because they're not erupting anymore, but volcanic, V-O-L-C-A-N-I-C, mountains, M-T-N-S, period. So the California mountains have a little bit of everything. We have fault block mountains, we have fold mountains, we have volcanic mountains, um, they didn't exactly say much about erosion mountains, but I'm guessing there's a little bit of that, either from ancient glaciers or uh, maybe up here in these mountains getting carved out where all those little lakes are. See all those lakes? There's got to be erosion happening for those lakes to form. All right, what is an example of fault block mountains in California? Okay, an example of fault block mountains in California are the Sierra Nevada Mountains where the two plates slide past each other. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. An example of fault block mountains in California are the Sierra Nevada mountains, where the one plate has tilted upward or to the west. Remember it said that? Where did it say that? The mountains are a block of granite tilted westward from a fault that runs along their eastern edge. Okay, so Right here for Sierra Nevada, they are granitic, G-R-A-N-I-T-I-C, 
and they tilt, T-I-L-T, westward, W-E-S-T, W-A-R-D. So if they were flat like this, they're tilted westward, out towards the Pacific Ocean. Okay, Piedra, Blan Piedra Blanca, Los Padres National Forest, California. Okay, so I mean, I think that means probably White Peak, that one right there. California's mountains help create the climate the people enjoy. They also provide recreation and beauty. Okay, so recreation, you can go hiking in the mountains or camping. Beauty, they're pretty to look at. And when they say help create the climate, uh, these mountains kind of block the weather coming in from the coast. So it comes in and it rains a lot along the coast, kind of dries everything out so the valley has nice, beautiful, sunshiny weather meaning we can grow a lot of crops and agriculture constantly. And then these mountains trap any remaining moisture and it all flows down. Look at all those little rivers flowing down the mountains into the valley. So that means all of the water and all the clouds and all the rainstorms passing over those mountains gets collected and then runs down into the valley for us to use for irrigation and growing crops and living. Okay, now let's do our phase two highlighting and annotating to find key details that support the main idea. First up, let's highlight and let's use the visual summary. Mountains often form at plate boundaries. Okay, Mountains form at plate boundaries. Where do we say that? Okay, We know that mountains form from plate motions. Where did we talk about plate boundaries. Let's see. We actually didn't say that anywhere. I think we just kind of assumed that we knew that, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and write that up here next to the main idea then. At, so it's a letter A, and circle it. Plate, P-L-A-T-E, boundaries, B-O-U-N-D-A-R-I-E-S. B-O-U-N-D-A-R-I-E-S. Yes. Okay, sometimes we have to add stuff. Fold mountains form where continental plates collide. Okay, so fold mountain, plates collide. The moving plates fold and crumple at the crust. Fold and crumple. Okay. A fault is a fracture in Earth's crust. A fault is a fracture. Okay. Where do we have that? Fault block mountain, fault. We know that a fault is a fracture, F-R-A-C-T-U-R-E. -E. That's the same thing as a crack or a break. A fault is a fracture or a break. Fault block mountains form when a block of crust is lifted up along a fault. Okay, so block of crust pushed up or down. Other types of mountains, including volcanic, dome, and erosion mountains. Okay, so there are other types. We have volcanic mountains. We have dome mountains. Where's our picture of a dome mountain? There we go. And we have erosion mountains. Where did we talk about erosion mountains? Here we go. Okay, California's mountains include the Sierra Nevadas, Mount Shasta, and Lassen Peak. Sierra Nevadas, Mount Shasta, Lassen Peak. These mountains affect the state's climate and provide natural beauty. Oh, we need to add that, okay. So, affect, A-F-F-E-C-T, climate, C-L-I-M-A-T-E, and let's see, recreation and beauty. R-E-C, R-E-A, T-I-O-N, and down three down, beauty, B-E-A-U-T-Y. Highlight those. Affect climate, recreation, and beauty. Okay, now, red pen, let's annotate. Okay, the main idea. Mountains form from plate motions. Mountains form from plate motions. OK. 
Okay, mountains form from plate motions. Let's see. A dome mountain forms because of the hot spot. So dome, hot spot. Fault block mountains form from the block of crust that's pushed up or down. Fold mountains form when the plates collide and they fold or crumple. Okay, all of that's plate motions. Let's see, volcanic mountains form under hot spots. Let's see, mountains kilometers tall, hundreds long, plates build up, weathering and erosion tear down, softens peaks, death valley, lowest point. Um, yeah, weathering and erosion doesn't really count as plate motions. It's kind of similar. We're going to skip that for now. Volcanic forces. Um, we don't need to get that specific for our summary. Erosion mountains. Let's just say, let's just make a general point that mountains can form from erosion and weathering. And then California mountains. We don't need to name the specific ones, but we should say that California's mountains affect the climate and provide recreation and beauty. And part of the reason why is I bet that soon we're going to get into even more specifics. Eventually down the road, a couple lessons or a couple chapters away, we're going to start talking more about climate and probably talk more about creatures and animals that live in those climate areas. Okay, so let's practice. What would it sound like? Mountains form from plate motions. For example, dome mountains form from hot spots pushing up under the crust. Fault block mountains form when a block of crust is pushed up or down and fractures in a fault. Let's put a star next to that. Fold mountains form when plates collide and fold and crumple. Volcanic mountains form when a hot spot erupts through the crust. Erosion mountains can form from erosion and weathering. The mountains in California affect our climate, and also provide recreation and beauty. All right, that's it. That's what it's going to sound like when we do phase four. Okay, now we are done with phase two, highlighting and annotating to find key details that support that main idea. Now phase three, I, I know, something I know, and then something I predict or I wonder. Remember, the thing that you know is not written on this piece of paper. The thing that you know is in your brain. You're taking that thing in your brain and connecting it to something that's on the paper. So you're going to have two things. One thing is going to be on the piece of paper, but the other thing is going to be in your brain. What you know is in your brain and you connect it to what's on the paper. Okay, then predict or I wonder predict. What are they going to talk about next? We talked about all these different kind of mountains. What are the other geologic events? What happens around the Ring of Fire? Not just volcanoes, not just mountain building. What was the other thing they talked about? Or, and I wonder, now that you know all of this about mountain building, what question do you have next? What questions pop up in your mind as you were learning this? All right, good luck, persevere with a growth mindset. Roar Wildcats!